Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a nail tutorial. And all you need other than your nail polish is a plastic bag. It sounds so like tragic. Oh, I'm doing my nails with a plastic bag. And it's not like a Target plastic bag. You need like a Ziploc bag. And no, this video is not sponsored. Oh my God, can you imagine this video is sponsored by Ziploc? That would be amazing. Ziploc, call me. So I did a tutorial on this same technique oh gosh years ago and every time I post a picture of my nails with this technique I have people asking me to do a tutorial so I thought it was time to do an updated one it's very easy but there is kind of a method to it if you use too much polish you're screwed if you don't use enough polish you're screwed as well so you kind of have to get the feel for how much polish you need to put on your nail but I'll get into all that in the tutorial so I'd like to see how to get some super cute plastic bag abstract nails just keep watching Okay, so things you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a plastic bag. I only have a massive gallon bag because I used up all of our plastic little sandwich bags, but this works. I just snip off little pieces as I need them. So you need a bag. You need nail polish, whichever polishes you want to use. I usually do like three to four colors. So we're gonna use coconut infusion nail paint from Barry M in Laguna. This nail polish is phenomenal oh my gosh this is the only Barry M nail polish I've ever used good lord it is so good we're going to use peach side babe from SE one of my favorite peach nail polishes my bottle is getting low I've been going hard with this another polish that I have been obsessed with SC geranium oh my gosh this is like the brightest most gorgeous red the formula is really good I love the red in this nail design. I just feel like the red makes it. Of course, we're using OPI, My Boyfriend Scales Walls. Everybody always asks me where they can find this. You can still order it online. I find it in the Bonton of all places. The Bonton has like one little rack of nail polish and they always seem to have this color. So that's where I usually get mine. And then you're going to need a top coat. Of course, I'm using Glisten and Glow Top Coat. They're changing the name from HK Girl to just Glisten and Glow Top Coat. I'm probably still going to call it HK Girl because it's just like total habit. But any top coat of your choosing, this is the best one in the world. And then I have my little cleanup brush to go around with acetone and just clean everything up. You can use a latex barrier totally up to you. And that's pretty much it. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so before we get into the correct technique, I want to show you guys some things that you shouldn't do. And this is an easy technique, but you do have to kind of feel it out a little bit and get just the right amount of polish on your nail. If you use too much, if you use too little, it's not going to work. So I'm going to show you what not to do, and then we'll talk about what you do want to do. Okay, so I have my polishes here, which I've already showed you guys the polishes we're using. Peach Side Babe is my base. I've let it dry for a few minutes. You do want to let it dry for a few minutes, no matter what. No top coat, just your base polish. Don't top coat it. First, we're going to do too much polish, and then we'll do too little polish, and I'll show you guys the outcome. Okay, too much polish. Uh-huh. This is way too much nail polish. This is going to be, oh shoot, I didn't open my red. This is going to be a hot ass mess. I mean, it might actually turn out nice, but you're going to have so much cleanup to do that it's, it's just, it's not, it's not okay. This is way too much polish. And let's finish off with some white. Come on, my white's getting really low. There we go. Okay, your little baggie. And I'll show you the correct technique for doing the little baggie. Gonna smush her down there. Get it all, you wanna move it all around. Oh yeah. No, that's what you don't wanna do. Look at how much polish is on my nail. That's never gonna dry. 
it's going to be a hot mess. I mean, it does kind of look cool, but no. I mean, look at everything that is seeping off of my nail. Way, way too much polish. Now we're going to do too little polish. Okay. So we're just going to get a little bit of red. A little bit of red. A little bit of white. A little bit of white. A little bit of peach. And a little bit of blue. Okay, take our little baggie and we're going to put it down on our nail. Uh, that looks tragic. <laughs> so there's a fine line between these two. There is a reason why I'm showing these to you guys because it seems really easy. Blob polish on your nail, slap a little baggie on it and, you know, press it down. Oh, how hard could it be? It's not hard, but you do have to get the right amount of polish. So don't do too much. Don't do too little. You want to do something in between these two that I'm going to show you in just a minute. And also on this nail, did you see how I moved the plastic bag back and forth? Do not do that. You want to get it down, push down on it, but don't push it back and forth. Very, very important tip. Okay, so we're going to start with my index finger. This nail is still drying because I just totally gouged a huge chunk of polish out of it, so I had to repaint it. Um, now, when I do this, if I'm using shades like a bright red or black, something that could potentially stain your cuticles and just be a pain in the ass to remove, I try to keep them near the top of my nail away from my cuticles, and I'll use shades like white or like this peach. Something that you know is going to be a little bit easier to remove, I use those closer to my cuticle, if that makes any sense. Um, you can use a latex barrier. Many, many brands do them. I'm just not a huge fan of them, and I kind of know how to do it so I don't make too much of a mess. But if you're just starting out with this technique, you might want to use a latex barrier because it can get really messy. So that right there is like the perfect amount, maybe a little bit less than that. We'll do one up here too. So there we have our blue. Then I'm going to do peach. We'll keep this one down here because that one's easy to remove and we'll throw one up here. And then we'll go in with red. I love the red, but it's such a bitch to get off. I usually try to keep the red like in the middle. Okay. And do I want, I'm going to do a little bit of white, just a little bit. So we'll put some white down here. You want to make sure you have some little blobs on every surface so there's no like areas that aren't going to get the good swirl you know what i mean okay so then we're going to take our little piece of our plastic bag i like to tuck mine under my nail so it kind of stays because you don't want it sliding around so i just tucked it under my finger and we're just gonna can you guys see what i'm doing okay so i'm gonna pull this over push it down and you don't want it sliding around too much so try to keep it stationary and then you just kind of smush the polish down and then pull it off. Ah, oh, that looks cool. I'm going to take a little bit of acetone and just get off this big blob that's over here. Okay. And it kind of looks crazy when you first look at it. You're like, that doesn't look good. But once you top coat it and you kind of go around and get all the excess polish off, it looks really cool. I love abstract designs like this. Like it's my favorite thing to do besides dots. So the main way you're going to screw this up, and I don't say that to be like you guys are failures and you can't do it, but the main way that people tend to kind of fail at this it, when you put your little plastic bag on your nail, if it's sliding all over the place, it's it's not going to work because the polishes are just, it's either going to take off your base coat and you're going to be able to see nail underneath 
or it's going to spread the polishes so much that they kind of muddy into like one just like murky shade. So you just, you want to press it down, but you don't want to like slide it back and forth. So get it on your nail, push it down a few times, and then pull it right off. Don't shimmy it around. It's not a good idea. Been there, done that. So I only did one coat on this nail, but I did kind of a thicker coat. So I think we're going to be okay with just one coat. So let's do it again. So same thing, I'm going to start with blue. Put a little blue here. And you want to do less polish than too much. Like you can start out slow and you can always add more. Okay, that's good for blue. Peach. Eh, need some more. Peach and peach. Red. The red is what makes this. The red's my favorite. So I tend to do a little extra red. But see how I'm keeping it up near the top of my nail? Because I do not want to clean that ish out of my cuticle. Oh, I didn't do black. What am I doing? Okay, a little bit of white. Ooh, that might be too much white. Mm, okay, I think that's good for white. And same thing. Grab your little bag under your nail, under your finger, over top, and down. Oh, I smushed that one a little bit. Press down, make sure you press all over the nail and pull it off. See that one shimmied back and forth a little bit. I don't know if you can see the difference. It didn't get too bad, like it didn't blend the colors together too much. Just a little bit. Oh shit. What now? Why did I do that? Oh my gosh, Nicole, you're a mess. Okay, I just wiped it on my shirt. So that's pretty much it. And then I like to let it dry for a few minutes, or at least like a minute. And then I go around with my little brush and some acetone and just get those nice sharp edges. And I do have a full manicure routine, which I will I'll put up top here if you guys just want to click on it and I will link it down below and that shows how I paint my nails how I take care of my cuticles pretty much everything so I'm just gonna go around clean up and then we will top coat now I've already top coated these these blue nails so we just need to do these two so just let it dry for whoa that's gonna spill not a good idea I'm um, just let your nail art dry for I would say like one to two minutes. I was totally just top coating and talking to the camera and my camera was not even recording. So I top coated okay. my index finger. I don't know how much of that you guys got but now we're gonna top coat the middle finger. And just be gentle. Even though you let it dry for a few minutes just still use a light hand. I mean with this technique it doesn't really it won't ruin it if the colors kind of blend together as you're top coating, but you still don't want to smear it. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. So that is the plastic bag technique. Ways to not do it and ways to do it. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you try this, tag me on Instagram, send me pictures, tweet them to me. I love to see what you guys come up with, color combinations, and it just brings me so much joy. So make sure you guys tag me. I love you guys. Have a great weekend. I will see you soon. Peace. Peace. <laughs>
drinking it and drank it and something went in her mouth. There was a spider in her straw. <laughs> oh my god, I would die. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I have no words. I couldn't even stop thinking about it. Like, I, it, uh, <laughs> Can you imagine a spider in your mouth? Dead or alive, I don't want you in my mouth. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's a wrap on the plastic bag. Nail tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. It was a little tutorial. Tutorial. That's a wrap. 